Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Number 21, Dijan Kulusevski. Number 10, Harry Kane. And number 7, Son. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Lon in the fullback positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And so the match is underway. <laughs> Running with the ball confidently. And let's give credit to the defending. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Son. And out of play. The pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Tank. It comes to absolutely nothing. Defensive commitment there. With the registration GR 
Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Please contact your nearest security guard. Thank you. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Cucurella. Mope. Mope. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Dejan Kulusevski. Now Harry Kane. Rebier, real chance. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Can someone get on the end of this? And heading it just over the bar. Well, it's been difficult for Brighton to get too much of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And dispossessed. Mope. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Going well. So now a corner. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Could play it in. Oh, the threat is there. It comes to nothing in the end. Could be a chance to break here. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Excellent vision. Chance here. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, a second goal for them here. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, he's normally the ultimate team player, Hyung Min Son, but for whatever reason, it hasn't happened for him. Yeah, he's struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough,
but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs to improve here. And so the match is underway. Gross. Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Fabier. And so back with the action here, and Spurs left with the proverbial mountain to climb in the second half. Kane. Might really be able to trouble them here. Gives it a go. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. So they get the ball rolling again. Tottenham trailing, but within touching distance now. Mopé. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Oh, brilliant technique. I'm not sure about you, Stuarts, but I thought that was going in. Well, so did I, but in the end it comes to nothing. But what a great strike it was. It was hit so sweetly. Well, couldn't keep it. Defensive efficiency personified. Lucas Moura. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. And taken short. Plays it back. And using his body to good effect. Growing pressure here. And another corner. Who can he pick out? On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it petered out. Well, Spurs have controlled the last 15 minutes, and some of their play has been really good. And if they continue to control the ball, as they're doing at the moment, I'm sure they get that equaliser. And still danger here. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight.
Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, this is not ideal for him. He was booked earlier. <laughs> 20 minutes to go in this one. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, he knows he's on his last warning after that one. Well, I don't think it warranted a yellow card. He made a genuine attempt to play the ball there. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Well, Tottenham have possession again. And dispossessed. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And well, they get the ball once more. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Kane unable to keep the ball a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in and players waiting in the centre Gross oh a smart save to keep the minute well that keeps it interesting but they're running out of time here Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. Really getting stuck in defensively. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. They've lost it. Adam Webster. A sloppy pass. Harry Kane. Takes the shot. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Trying to deliver it accurately. Still not clear. And it's Winks. Could be. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And over comes the corner. It might be marvellous anticipation. So the final whistle, and it's a story of defeat for Spurs in this one. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today.
because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they...